What it do, man? You already know who it is, man. Mr. Maple TV, a.k.a. Mr. iPad Chain here. Man, look. I'm about to explain something to y'all that I don't think no one has really ever explained it like this. Because I just figured it out myself. But I'm going to explain to you 100% why nothing is impossible. Why impossible is nothing. It's not the old saying to where everybody tells you the same thing. You can grow up, be whatever you want to be. That's cool. And it's true. But it doesn't explain anything. It doesn't explain enough. You say you're hard work and this and this and all that. But the reason why nothing is impossible is because you're even able to think about it. Say you are a, say you say say you uh, like made robots or something. You you are a robot, computer program, whatever you want to fucking call it. Say you build a robot, and you only want it to do one thing, right? And you set it off, and it does that one thing because that's the only thing you put in his head to do. Our brains are like that. Just say our brains are that robot. I don't, and that's when we go back to God and how we created. But just say naturally. Our brains have formed the way that they formed and they came together and now we're able to think. So think about that same robot you made and only wanted to do that, that task you set it out to do. And it only does that because that's what is only in his head to do. Our brains are only set to do what we can do. They are not programmed to do anything other than what we can do. So when you see a movie and they create something or build something, they think that's never going to be made or, or you never possible. It's possible because our brains can think about it. Our brains can only think about what we can do. It's not programmed. No, it, it wasn't naturally programmed to do anything that we can't do. Well, it's like, just think about that robot you programmed. If you programmed it, you only put one chip in there and it only says go right. How could it ever go left? Because it's not pro. You didn't program even. You didn't put anything in there to make it ever be able to go left. It's only going to forever go right. Your brain can only do what we can do. If you want to be able to teleport... Our time is of the essence with us, but as far as what our brain can do, being able to teleport yourself from me sitting here to somewhere else, we're going to do it because we can think about doing it. Y'all, we are like, I started looking up this type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And figuring out how are we connected as a human race and why we do the things we do and all this type of stuff, but... We are in this magnetic force field around this globe. And all you've even experienced, you know that your body is electric by if you ever rubbed your feet on the carpet and somebody's touched you and you got that static shock or from your car door handle, you get shocked sometimes. That's because you have electricity running through your body. I don't know how many hertz it is or watts or whatever they want to call it. But we are all connected in this field. And when we sleep, and have these dreams. I don't know if you've ever had a dream. Well, I know I have. But and in my dream, I'm like a superhero. And then sometimes I can even control it and make myself do whatever I want to do in my dream. And then sometimes someone come out of left field, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? But what that is, that's why it's, it's all so much crazy stuff happening in your dream. Because we, for one, we only use just a small part of our brain. And when we sleep, they said we go in a state to where we're using parts of our brain that we don't use when we're awake. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I started to figure out not by I looked all on YouTube. I couldn't find nothing. I looked on Google. I couldn't find nothing about this. But this is where I'm I'm, I'm connecting the dots. When we sleep in this force, in this magnetic field and our minds go in that state, we're shooting off all this electricity. 
that we can't see with the naked eye, but it's there. It's everywhere. It's like static from a television. You're getting all these channels. Boom, boom, boom. That's why your dreams are all crazy. When we're able to control that state, while we're up, like you see in the movie, Professor X grabs someone's hand and he's able to meditate, it's going to happen because we can think about it happening. It never would be able to happen if our brains couldn't think about it. Anything that we're that you can possibly think about can happen and is going to happen because our brain is only programmed to think about stuff that we can do. It's not programmed to think about anything that we can't do one day. You see what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe they have figured this out, but they have never broke it down like this. I can't find anything anywhere that has broken it down like this. But that's the reason why nothing is impossible because our brains only allow us to think about the things that we can possibly do or can do. We are not programmed to think about anything else. We can only do this. This is what our brain is programmed to do. Think about, like I said, the robot you made. It can only go right because that's all you put in there was a right turn. We stuck a right turn. We left the left turn over there. We just stuck a right turn over there. It's only going to do what you programmed it to do. Our brains are just billions and trillions of times more advanced than any robot. I'm not going to say that any robot we can make because if we can think about it, it can happen. It's and I said I said can again. I said I said we can. I just thought about it. You see, because I just thought about this. There is not a such thing as can't. That's why nothing is impossible, and impossible is nothing. Because we are not allowed to think about in our brains anything that we can't do. <laughs> Mr. Apache, I shall. Hold on.